Okay, um, I'm going to make a short video um, just to explain what to do with the mod that I created that works with uh, Cecil's uh, Mega Pack. <clears throat> so this file here that I created is a, a zip file or a well .scs file. So you need uh, something like WinRAR or 7-zip to open it. Once you've downloaded it, it'll look like this. Um, and if you use WinRAR or 7-zip, you just double click. And it will open up into this. So to find the files that you want to customize, you would just go into this folder here, Cecil Custom, <coughs> and then in each of these you'll find um, the DDS files that you want to uh, customize uh, or modify. They're fairly self-explanatory, you know, back flag is the flag at the rear of the cabin. So in there, there's uh, backflag.dds. So we double click on that, and because I use paint.net, it will open up paint.net, and we'll see there that the back flag is stars and stripes. Um, so I suppose I could do a quick demonstration uh, and I'll go for a line rampant images. I'll find a good image. That one's pretty clear. I like that. So we'll save the image. Royal Banner, it's a PNG. So we'll do this quickly. So we've got the back flag there. What I'm now going to do is open. Uh, saved it on the desktop, I think. There we go. And quite simply to to move this over, um, I'm doing Control A and that selects everything, and then Control C to copy. I'll move across to this back flag .dds and create a new layer. Um, it's easier to work on a separate layer, and then what we'll do is. When I go to paste, control and V, it will ask me, the image being pasted is larger than the canvas size. What do you want to do? So you need to make sure that if you, if this message comes up, you need to keep the canvas size the same. So we'll do that. And this is now uh, larger. That's the canvas size there. This is larger than the canvas. So we just need to drag it down. I'll drag that into the corner. And it's as simple as that. Then all I'll do now is remove the background layer. And we have just that one layer there. Save it. OK, and then close. And whenever you modify any of these files, it'll ask you, it'll say that the file name was modified. Do you wish to update it in the archive? You select yes. And that is that file modified. So I'll just open that up again. And you can see that the changes there have been made. And you use that for anything else that you want to. Uh, big flag, 
what's this? There's a Turkish flag. Um, I've done some of these already. Flag poles, those are the ones that go on the dash table. So there's pole double. Double click on that. That's the saltire. I've just covered over that it was the Turkish flag. I've left the rest of this in and just done the flag and the same again for uh, number two. Although I suppose what I could do actually is do it this way. No, that's not going to work. And then I'll just drop this down on there and save that. Again, do you wish to update? Yes. So you can click through all of these. I did the UK passport, just copied and pasted an image over the top of the original one that was there. Um, yeah, you can go through any of these files and uh, change them to whatever you want. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, the other thing, once you've finished with it, is so you would just drag this into your um, drag that into your mod folder. And then when you load up, you activate the mod and make sure that it is, it is above uh, Cecil Mega Pack in the load order priority. Hope that was of some help. Um, if you have any problems, feel free to drop me a message, and I'll uh, I'll help you as best I can. Okay, cheers, bye.